Lisa, try Glab Daily. It's been a hit and miss month for you. Do you think you can turn it around? Yeah, I think we're already in the way of that, aren't we, really? I mean, the last two games, we've got eight goals, we've got two wins. It'll come with time. I think the boys are just getting used to the new formation. I've already changed it once. I think it'll come in time. Jack, fans forum, do you think your change from a 3-1-2-3-1 three, one, three, one to a 4-2-4 four, four is enough to make it three wins in three today? Yeah, I think it played very, very well. Obviously, the start of the season, a few mistakes were made, which kind of... I don't think the formation was that bad. We were making chances, we weren't scoring them, which is unfortunate. But going forward, I think this is the way we can get ourselves back up there. Obviously, we got relegated last season before I was here. So it's nice to be able to really make a mark, I think, in the next coming month. Fingers crossed we can get a few wins and push us further up the league. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone. Hopefully, I'll see you all at the cup game. Fingers crossed we can get the win. And I'll see you next time. What is happening, guys? And welcome to Slovenian Dreams. We're taking a club from the Slovenian Second League, who I've never heard of. They're called Triglav. They're a big hill. Mountain. Not a hill. They have something very large. It's on, it's on the logo. The logo's sick. The logo is quite cool. But we do have them. They've been recently been relegated. I didn't know this. I just kind of went randomised and they were there. They won the division they're in now in 2016-2017. So we'll see how that goes. But it's been a rocky start. I will go for that in a minute. We'll see some of the goals we've let in. One of them has been outlandish. But let's get stuck into it. Before we do, like, subscribe, comment down below. Will we get promoted at the first attempt of trying to get back up there? Fingers crossed we will. Let's go. So here we go. Seventh in the league. We have six points. Radomji and Nafta both have 12 unbeaten so far. Which brings us on to us. We're going to have a look at the two losses first. Um, stressful. Does not does not um, account for these. They scored twice within two minutes. As we'll get this game up. This was playing the 3-1-4. Look at this here. Okan, not good enough. And then Sipek just chips the keeper. Stressed to not to say it. Obviously, we will we'll go through these teams. This is the formation we're playing. A 3-1-2-3-1, which is a weird, weird formation. But it was just nice. It was nice to see. There's Brem's big ball over the top. Defenders, once again, all over the place. But to be fair, with a strike like that, what can you do? Do you know what I mean? This is the goal that was the most annoying, this one right here. Obviously, we're going to look at the players more in depth in a second, but these are the goal. This is the goal. Look at this. Kuma clears into their striker, and we lose 1-0. Since then, we have changed to a 4-2-4, and it has obviously got us a lot of, a lot of goals. Eight goals in two games. I mean, what, 11 in three, if you count that one as well. But Bistrika, we should have absolutely hammered them, but we went extra time. Let's not talk about that. But we are playing the 4-2-4. Without a defence, distribute as centre-backs, counter-press, counter high defensive line, high line of engagement, doing urgent pressing, stay on feet and use tighter marking, the standard kind of thing I think everyone is using in this year's Football Manager 21. But the team is, I'm in love with this team. Genuinely, they're so, so good. I haven't really brought a lot of people in. I imagine they have. Yeah, obviously they have. Genoa on loan, Bravo on loan. We brought them in from here. Octavio Paez is a midfielder at attacking mid. Just, you know, his vision's good. His natural fitness is what really appealed to me because I find in these kind of lower leagues, obviously I know this is the first, it's the second championship, isn't it? But in the lower leagues, fitness is a huge, huge issue. Hopefully he can overcome that. We have Marco Bibic from Easter at 1961. <coughs> From the Croatian, from the Croatian first league, thirteen finishing, thirteen first touch. Obviously, technique struggling, heading he's struggling, anticipation, composure is composure is the worst one, but he makes up for it. I think off the ball, good movement, really, really quick, which will help get in the, behind a lot of these defenders. We have Ladislavic from the same club, Easter in nineteen sixty one. Um, I just I just liked it. Look at marking fifteen, tackling ten, heading. 13. Position's not the best. He's only 18 years of age. He's a player that I would actually look to sign, given the chance. I had to bring in two fullbacks on a whim. They're not the best, but they will fill some gaps. Obviously, we have Kitek here, who's basically the same as Mikel, Mihel, Mer, sorry. 
uh, comes at the start of the season, I was playing three centre backs, and I needed to get myself some wingers, which I didn't really have. So full backs came in there. The best player on our team, without doubt, is Gasper Udovic, who is Slovenian. He's only ever played for us. This is his 10th year. Believe one, two. Yeah, this is 10th year at Briglav. And do you know something? He's still, he probably must have been in the start off with the best players, but honestly, him in midfield does help us an awful lot. Is that box box midfielder? He gets up and down. He passes it through. These lads up front are absolutely having a blinder. So having a blinder now, they've found a formation that I'm comfortable with and that they are also comfortable with. Bill G, are our opponents today, they're in fourth. Obviously, the, po the positions at the moment are kind of pointless because we did play rather badly. We did. But we are finding our feet now. It is a wet day. So, you know, our, our, our passing should help a little bit. We do have some pace that will cause some problems. But let's have a look at the team selection. This is what we're going with. We've got a lad called Voddy second goal. Look at that. For this level, he's obviously on loan. He's not our player, but look at how, what a player for them to be getting on loan. Rock Vodisek, absolutely unreal. Did he come from us? He didn't. He was at Olympia. NK Olympia in the first division. But then we have Mihel Mert, who we've already seen. Right back, we have Zan Kuma. Look, I've got very, very good players. It looks like they've gone down and kept a lot of the players that they had previously. Obviously, Mohamed Bojic also there last season. Pokon, the guy who had a bit of a, a bit of a stinker at the start. He's only just starting at the club, but a lot of these players looked like they've been here for a few a few seasons, which, considering they were on higher, see, he's new from Bravo, but a lot of these players obviously played last season in the in the higher tier, so we should really, really be getting these, be, get, be getting the wins. But as we get into this game, fingers crossed we can get a result. We don't really want extra time. It wouldn't be ideal. But, you know, we've only played for like one month, so we do need to try and win some of the some of the players over. As you can see, we've been we've been a few over with the team talking. Why are we in the floodlights? What is this? It's a car park. Our stadium is a car park. What do you what 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 you love to see about this, you know what I mean? Bojic, big ball over the top. Hit away, Jakovic. Batic plays it back to his keeper. That's the pressing we want there. Over the top though, Sturm. Plays it through to Doppelar. Oh, he was always going to get that one. Wasn't he? I think for this game, probably want to be just playing standard line, just because it is wet. If the ball does does get a bit of fizz on it, it's going to go through. But that that wasn't any excuse there. To be honest with you, should be making challenges here. He's going to step up. He needs to be, um, you know, trying to win the ball, which he doesn't. Kuma, Lovanovic. Levani kick, sorry. Jankovic. Bibic, back to Udovic. Mensa. Mitt. Udovic. Look, we're getting, we're getting a bit comfortable now. We're like this. Bibic. Jankovic. Fanzi Jakubovic. Oh, we need, get, we need to get some nicknames for these lads. Jankovic. Saved by Libica. Oh, there's a lot of itch, isn't there? Jankovic. Borzic. Livinic. Bokovic. Bibic. Ball goes in, it's clear by Celsa. Only as far as Kuma though. We need to get this down a bit. Get this down a bit. This is why I've, I've recently changed the 3D. Honestly, it hurts my eyes watching it. Here's work the ball in the box. We'll go with it for a bit and see how it plays out. 1 0 down with how half an hour in this game we haven't really created anything. We're going to man more. See if we can get something before half time. Five minutes remaining. We have not actually done a thing. Well, here we go. Half time. Show me something else, boys. I believe. I believe. Look, right now we're, we're winning some of the boys drawn by. Same and not happy, but saying they do have the potential to they have the ability to take us a little bit further. There's Bibic, our lone striker. Can he find a pass? Please find a pass. No, he can't. Good God. But it's okay. Vodisek picks it up quite comfortably. Borgic, back to Vodisek. The wing is right here. The wing is still right here. Borgic, big ball over the top. Bibic wins the header. 
Jankovic gets there, Sturm picks it out though. Nice header. Where is our midfield? We have two midfielders and there's non-existent. Doppel R. Our white stew's edge. Can he get past Mensa? Yes, he can. The ball gets put in. Sturm. Body, body saying <laughs> looks like he's scooped out the back of the net. Roy Carroll style. But it's okay. Right, we do need to start thinking about something here. We'll see how this attack goes. If it goes really badly, we'll probably go attacking just to try and push some more people forward. But there's Cancer. One on one of the keeper. Put it wide. We're going to go attacking. Look, we were making chances. We're just not getting them on target. Celsa. Germol. Up to Sturm. Sturm. Running field. Plays out wide. Mert. Nice gets in the way. Ivancic. Bozic. Don't be chasing him there, man. Leave that to the midfield. There's Germol to Sturm. Um, what we're going to do. Probably shouldn't change this right this second, but we're going to confirm changes. Body tech saves. We're pulling the wingers back just to make a few more bodies in the midfield. Puma with a throw in. 61st minute. Press me if you want. I don't know any of these players yet. Djakovic. Ball in. Mensa back post. Ibrahim Mensa. First goal of the season. Levels it up in the 61st minute. Lovely ball. Look at this for a ball here, though. On the half volley, it looked like. Slavic with a throw in. Udovic clears. Nobody is there, though. Where's Bibic? Is that Bibic there? I don't know. Yes, it is Bibic. Doppel R. Doppel R. So she has a go. Saved. Oh, rebound. Rebound. So straight after, we get our goal back. A rebound puts them another goal ahead. Going back down to positive. But look at this. A hell of a save from the keeper. Fortunately, falls straight to their defender. Their defender, their striker. What am I saying? Kelka, ball in. Who says bolts it in linear post, but it is put out wide for another corner. This is this is frustrating this game. Um Cotton Corpatch. Corpatch is another actual shine like the team as well. Corpatch is a very, very good player. But obviously, we're talking about this level, we're not talking like he I couldn't sign him for Marseille and he'd be good, but Stusej. Oh, we could defend immensely though. Big kick up. Djokovic backs off, doesn't even attempt to win that header from the defender. Paul over Huma. Jesus Christ, this isn't going well. 71st minute. It is still two goals, so one to Bilgi. Lavek to Doppelar. Borgic clears. Djokovic actually gets there this time. Djankovic. Bibic. You got the pace. Oh, it's a penalty. Come on, boys. Levanic needs to come off. We'll put on Tim Matic. There's a lot of itches. Jankovic steps it up. Can he score? Come on, boys. Top left. Top right, sorry. Top left. What am I talking about today? What am I doing? 2-2. Two -two. Jankovic, lovely. Lovely penalty keeper. Didn't even flinch. We're still making the change to put Matic on the right-hand side. Borgi struggling, but he's our best defender. Kuma as well. Let's have a quick look at the bench. We'll take Borgic off. We'll put on the, the uh, Loni Ladislavic. Hopefully he can just see it out. I mean, his marking's not the best. No, his position, sorry, isn't the best, is it? But it is what it is. We go to extra time. Fairly even game. Um, I think we probably deserve... No, we don't, do we? <laughs> we don't. Let's not kid ourselves. We've got extra time again. Once more, Bibic. Back to Mert. Mert, big ball over the top to nobody. He, he knows Bibic is just passing the ball. Jankovic. Tackled by Jamal, but he picks it back back up. Up to Djakovic. Djakovic. Oh, what defending. He's chased him down and managed to get a touch on it. Remains 2-2. Two -two. We'll demand more. It worked before. Come on, boys. We've got five minutes left this half. 
Oh, Corpatch with a free kick. Puts it in the mixer. Adam Djakovic, second goal of the season. Trick Lab 3, Bilgi 2. And now we will go down to Cautious. We will not try too hard to get another goal. What a header. Keeper probably should have done better. Corpatch there with a hell of a delivery for that free kick. Extra time. Let's go into the second half of this. Can we do something more? Come on, boys. What a start to this, this episode, man. This series, what a way to start it. Uma, big clearance. Concealer, Topila. Out wide to Huma. Up to Perko. Perko, can he have a go? Oh, what defending? Who is that? Three against Mert. Yeah, Mihail Mert saves us and gets us the 3 2 victory. Puts us through the next round. What a game. What a game. Fitness wise, we're going to be struggling, but Adam Jakubovic, the saviour with the header at the end. Just like it's his first appearance for us and he's doing stuff like that. That puts us through to the next round, which is when the big boys enter. The first league will enter. Slovenian first league. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've never heard of any of these teams. Selji are in Europe. So how do they do in Europe then? They lost to Astana and now they're playing Dynamo to Bilsi, who are Belarusian or something. Georgian, sorry. Georgian in the Euro Cup Champions Path second qualifying leg. So, you know, they'll have the money. They'll have the money. We need to get to that position where we can quit in Europe. Even if you don't qualify straight away, you're going to get the money from, obviously, the attendance, the, the prize money and stuff along those lines. You're going to be playing teams that you can beat. But with that win, it puts us into the second round, which we won't play until next month now. But we've got a big month. We've got, what, five games here? We'll come back for Kirka. Fingers crossed we can get some wins in here. Obviously, we've just come off the back of, well, it's our fourth win on the bounce now. We're getting a little bit of momentum. Start of the season, obviously, was slow, but I don't think we played that badly. We'll see how it goes, guys. Thank you. Well, that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. Um, comment down below if you think, obviously, we will get up first time. What did you think of that game? Um, we've been really unlucky to get the two losses so far. Fingers crossed this formation will actually do something. I need to start playing probably 4-4-2 four, four, with two wingers instead of like two midfield like wingers, like MR, ML, as opposed to attacker mids. But I haven't got the players to do that, to be honest with you, and I can't afford to buy them. I can't afford to buy them. So, stay safe, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.